Salutations my Fallout lovers, it is Maddie here today with a Fallout movie discussion video. IGN recently posted an article on how a Fallout movie may happen according to Bethesda, and with that possibility comes a discussion talking about whether or not this would be a good thing. Will this improve the Fallout community? Is this just a bad idea from the start? So let's read the article and then discuss the possibility. No film adaptation of Fallout is currently in the works, but Bethesda's Todd Howard recently confessed he isn't totally against the idea. We've had a couple of inroads, particularly with Fallout, which is a bit stickier than Elder Scrolls, but everybody's kind of asked and taken a number of Fallout movie pitch meetings over the years and nothing quite clicked where I felt, oh, that would be as good as the game. And that may happen, I don't rule it out, but nothing really has clicked where the games are popular enough and that's their identity. I would say we have a pretty high bar as far as what we would want it to be if it ever happened, and nothing's quite clicked. Even little things like what does the vault suit look like. Every little thing we obsess over so the game is the thing where it really exists. So basically what Bethesda and Todd Howard here are getting at is that they want to make it a recreation where it's true to the games, and they don't feel comfortable with making a movie unless it's entirely accurate. One big issue with these video game movies is the fact that it's usually handed off to some okay decent director who's done a few okay films in his time and he doesn't really know much about gaming or the franchise he's just designed to make a movie with this franchise in mind and he does so and it's usually not good example a the hitman movie apparently that was one of the worst movies ever made some of the mortal kombat movies really not that good it just goes on and on we're just video games and movies have never really tied into each other as well pixels is another one that's oh my goodness bad you know it's just one of those things where it's like they never mesh together properly but there is hope with the upcoming Assassin's Creed movie so that's why we're kind of talking about could this be a good idea what I think works against this is that it's not like an Assassin's Creed where Assassin's Creed would work in a movie because you usually get the set protagonist with this name this backstory and everything in Fallout games Fallout 4 aside obviously you really get to create your own backstory the type of person you're going to be now in Fallout 4 you can decide who you want to be but you get what I'm saying where in the really old Fallout games it was just totally, I could be sarcastic douchebag, I could be a total villain, I could be a really nice guy, and so on. And really what brought the game's identity was being who you want to be, doing what you want to do, this post-apocalyptic setting, really awesome weapons, incredibly cool factions, deep and interesting and believable lore. That's what kind of brought the games to life. To transport that type of idea into a movie is difficult, especially when a lot of the fun of the game comes from what you do as yourself and what you would do in those situations. When you're sitting in the movie theater watching someone else make these decisions for you in a movie titled Fallout, it kind of makes you sit there and think, huh, this isn't really Fallout because Fallout's about making decisions and shooting mutants and having this intense and awesome atmosphere. A lot of things from a Fallout game can carry into a potential Fallout movie, in my opinion, but I think what makes Fallout special definitely can't be carried over into a Fallout movie. Like I said, the choices. But then you look at Fallout Tactics Brotherhood of Steel, which was arguably a pretty good good Fallout game even though it gave you a backstory as you are this Brotherhood of Steel trooper and you have this squad and you really don't go gung-ho with the customization. You can type out your own bios and stuff, don't get me wrong there, but it was still kind of like you had your own backstory form there and it wasn't that bad of a game. It wasn't obviously the best Fallout game, but it still wasn't bad where it showed that a Fallout game with a backstory set up for you has potential. Another idea is obviously Fallout 4, where you kind of have this backstory set up for you. You are this war vet. You are looking for your son. You have to care about your family. Some people didn't like that in the terms of a Fallout game, but it was an arguably good story that if it was told in movie form, maybe it actually would have panned out pretty well. But still, Fallout 4 had some decisions to be made, especially at the end, and I feel like that's one of the things that kind of played out where it was was something that wouldn't have worked in a movie. You also have to take into account that movies are great for dry period fill-ins. We look at games like Assassin's Creed once again, which is not getting an entry this year, but it's still getting fill-ins from Assassin's Creed Chronicles, which is not that good of a series apparently, but also the Assassin's Creed movie at the end of the year. So it's getting the Assassin's Creed fix in there, but it's just not quite the game that everyone's looking for, but it'll do, right? So I wonder if this is an idea that Bethesda would pursue at some point, because you know what? Hey man, people want more fun. 
all that, this doesn't have to be a game, this could be a movie. It could be an interesting idea. But Fallout live action isn't something we're unfamiliar with when you look at the Fallout 4 live action trailer, which got a lot of people hyped, but also when you take into account shows such as Nuka Break or the little short film Fallout Linnaeus by Wade Savage. These are fantastic examples that you can have an established character in a Fallout universe with an interesting and compelling story that can also, like Nuka Break, have some good humor in there as well. It shows that if you have the proper care and fanship behind really anything, it can be made properly into a TV show or a film. In the end of the day, I'm really not against this idea, especially when you look at Nuka Break and Fallout Linnaeus. It's just a matter of getting the right people behind this project and giving them the right amount of money and obviously getting Bethesda's approval. If that all comes to fruition, maybe things will work out. But for me, I'm not really against this idea, man. A Fallout movie, if it's done right, which we've seen in the past in little short bits, I'm totally not against this at all, but I'd love to hear your thoughts on this in the comments down below, so let me hear them, people, in the comments section. Other than that, be sure to follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, the links are in the description. Check out SugarBomb.com, the place by Bethesda fans, for Bethesda fans. Stay sexy, stay active, I love you all. Peace.